It is really soft and you can see the body in it. Like it, this, <laughs> this wig is soft, seriously. This wig is super soft. Welcome everyone to my channel uh, again. My name is Tanika Lane and I want to thank you all for tuning in with me today, vibing with me today. So I have some goodies for you all. Today I am going to be showing you the details in the juice, the tea, all of that uh, on this wig here that I have on. Okay. So this uh, wig was sent to me by Beauty Forever to review for them. So let me go ahead and show you the box. This is the uh, box that the wig came in. So first, before we get into any details on this baby here, and before we name her, let me go ahead and show you all what was in the box. So again, it came in this box here. On the back of your box, you'll have some how to maintain your wig, also how to measure your wigs. Uh, it has all that details on that, uh, on the back of the box. Inside of the box, of course, came this baby here this baby here it came in this plastic bag so i do keep my bags to kind of store my wigs back in when i'm not wearing them it also came with some uh stocking caps okay so i didn't use one of these i already had some open um, i do have a cap on but i'll explain more on that as we continue to go through the video and it also came with a headband i believe this one came in here i have a couple of these if so this is going to be my second headband like this so yeah, it came with this headband as well. So those are the goodies that you get inside of the box. Um, so some deets, some deets, some tea, some juice on this baby here. Okay, Hold on, let me pull it up. If I can get it. I can never open my son's phone. I said to my son, like the details. But okay, so again, this hair was sent to me by Beauty Forever um to review for them and they're going to be an amazon company so sis if you need a wig quick fast in a hurry this is going to be one of the ones for you okay you know amazon if you have amazon prime you can get it like in the next day or two honestly depending on what time you order it so this is going to be again from the amazon company beauty forever um this is going to be the beauty forever hand tied tea part lace wig uh human hair it is going to be 16 inches. So I got it in the link since 16 inches. And this to me, yeah, it looks about 16. Yeah, it's a good length. I was gonna say it looks longer, but yeah, it looks about 16, maybe a tad bit longer, but yeah, this is 16 inches. Also, this hair is in the color 99J. So yeah, let me get a little closer so you can see kind of the color that it has. This was straight hair, so straight out of the pack, it was straight. I did add these curls in with a wand curler, and it is 150% density. So you can look at it, and you can kind of see it's really, it's pretty full. Again, you're not going to get a thin wig. To me, this wig isn't thin, and then when you add in your curls, it looks even thicker, okay? So that's some of the tea. Um, this is a silk-based closure wig. So whenever I say that, uh, it's not frontal. It is gonna be the lace that you have is gonna be from about here. I'm trying to feel it about here to here. So you only have lace going along here and you only have a middle part. You cannot part it any further than it is right here. So it has to stay middle part. So ladies, if you're a middle part girl, this is gonna be a good one for you. This uh, already has middle part. Uh, I didn't do any plucking or anything to this. This is going to be one of those wigs. You know, when you don't have a frontal, it's super easy. You just really put it on your head. But yeah, this is going to be one of those super easy wigs. If you're a beginner, you're just starting with wigs, this is going to be a super easy one to put on. And depending on how natural you want your wig to look, you may do a little bit more. So if you want to see how I actually did a little bit more to make it look a little bit more natural stay tuned to the end of the video i'm going to place a clip in and it's going to show how i actually cut 
out the little lace that was in front. It was a lace base closure and as well as a cap behind it. And then I also bleached just this middle part here in the front, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna show details on how I did that as well, okay? So this hair, this hair is 150, I mean, sorry, $105. This hair is $105 right now. And I believe if you go to Amazon, there's also a little coupon that's attached to the uh, wig. So you can get that little uh, deal off of your wig. Um, all the details for this wig will be in the description. So anything that you need to know will be in the description for you. So let me give you my thoughts on this wig. Straight out of the bag, this wig is so soft like seriously this wig is really soft and you can see the body in it like it this <laughs> this wig is soft seriously this wig is super soft so far i haven't had one strand of one strand that shedded and that was whenever i was brushing it out after i washed it so i did co-wash this hair out of the uh bag and as i said i did bleach this little piece here and the little lace going across you don't have a lot to um, do with this wig. Very, very beginner friendly. Um, whenever you get this wig, you'll see as I show the video, there's gonna be two clips on the side of your wig and there's gonna be a clip in the very back as well as adjustable straps. Um, and you will have some lace in the back. I never use my lace in the back. Some ladies may use theirs. So there is gonna be lace for you in the back in case you wanted to pull it up in a ponytail. Okay, so I just cut that lace off in the back and I adjusted my adjustable straps and this wig feels really, really secure. It's not big head friendly. It's not little head friendly to me. My head, I don't know what you would call my head. I said it was big, but I don't know if it's like perfectly on my head. It's not too big, not too small. Um, so that's going to be one of my thoughts. I really like how the wig fits my head. I really love that it's soft and no shedding. We're gonna go into some pros on this wig and I'm gonna see, as I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna see what cons I have as well, okay? Um, let me see what else. Um, as I was saying, stay tuned until the end of the video so you can see actually what I say whenever, uh, what I mean whenever I say silk base closure going across the middle. That will be at the end of the video. So let's get into our pros, sis let's get into our pros first first pro color the color sis do y'all see that color do you see the color do you see it yes i really like this color i am not even a color girl i don't know what's happening to me but yes i love this color so right now let's go ahead and comment below what can a name be for this wig y'all know i name my wig so what will her name be i think i'm gonna go with candy apple but i want you to go ahead and drop a comment now and tell me what should i name her all right so okay yeah i'm loving the color of this wig that's gonna be my pro my first pro off, off the rip i love the color and then once you put it on the color is even more like okay this is cute shedding one strand like I said there has been one strand that has shed and I bleached the uh knots in just the middle and the little front frontal or the little um closure at the top so one strand of shedding is nothing with a wig so I honestly only seen one strand so far so no shedding is going to be a definite plus soft That'll be my uh, pro number three. Super, super, super soft. This wig is like, honestly, straight out the bag. Once you feel it, you'll be like, geez, this wig is super soft. And it's still, you know, I only had, this is my first day wearing it, just an FYI. But this wig is like super, super soft. Okay. So those are my three pros. And also the price. I'm going to add that in. I, this wig was sponsored, but if I was to purchase this wig, I would think that it is, I think that 105 is a pretty good deal for this human hair wig and it's already colored for you. So it's saving you, um, saving you time if you wanted to have a lighter cut or a different color than your natural hair. And again, this wig to me is pretty cute and it's good length for 16 inches. Okay, so those are going to be my pros. I would say the only con is, of course, because I'm a, like a frontal girl, would be that I wish it was a frontal. Okay, so I can do my different parts. 
but I'm honestly liking the middle part with this wig. It feels like it just goes. So if I had a, a con, it would be that it's just not a frontal. The one that I have on now is not a frontal. So I'll show you. It only goes from right here to right here. I did try to cut some baby hairs out, but I tucked them back in because I didn't really feel like it needed baby hairs per se. I feel like it was okay without them. Okay, so I'm going to get close so you can just get a good view of the lace. Okay, so excuse me if I have a still a little glue. I did glue the frontal down with gots to be. So I have gots to be um, just going across here to here. So it was super, super quick install. Super quick install. You didn't have to do much at all. Super easy. Super, super easy, sis. This is the one for you if you want super easy, simple to install. Okay. So um, I think I said all of the details on the wig. Yeah, I really like this wig. It's really, really, really cute. I'm feeling this one. Beauty forever, sis. Go ahead on. Go ahead on with this one. And normally I'm not a, I don't really too much wear um, just the lace closures. I rather the frontals, but this is really cute. And I think it's the color that's just kind of making me like, okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I don't know if I said this also, uh, I got the, this is a straight wig. I got these curls with a uh, flat iron. I made these curls or I curled this hair with a flat iron. Okay, so um, those are all of the details, the juice, the tea that I had to share on this wig. Stay tuned and you're going to see a clip that is going to show me um, constructing the inside, how I cut the little uh, lace part out and I... Um, you know pull the string so you'll see that and that is about it on this wig so stay tuned for that clip okay so this is how the wig looks just spray out the parts i want to show you the inside the configuration because next time you see it you won't what, next time you see me you won't be able to see this it'll be on my head so it has like a silk cap in the front and this is going to be how the lace looks. This is just off front. So you see the lace is just from here to here. So what I'm going to do, this silk cap here, actually, it comes off. So I'm going to be cutting this off. But whenever you cut this, if you decide to do this, this is just an extra step I'm going to do to try to make it just look a little bit more natural. Um, you'll just pull... You gotta be very careful though because of course you don't want to cut the lace but if you pull this up i don't know if you can tell but if you pull this up you're able to see a little space in between the the lace or the actual cap and this little face scalp so i'm just going to cut a little bitty hole in it so i don't know if you've seen that but i just cut a little bitty hole and then i'm just going to cut up and you can also see like exactly where you're cutting So once I got the hole, now you can see there's the actual lace. So the rest I'm going to do off camera, but all I'm doing is just going to take this around. And if you actually cut on the strings, you probably can take it all the way off without actually using your scissors. I actually wanted to show you this. So I just cut like one of the little white strings and this is kind of what the string looked like. I hope you can see that that's not the hair. It's white. This is the actual screen. Uh, um, I guess string that the lace closure was uh, put on but if you just cut a little piece of the string you see how easy it comes off so once you take both of those caps off this is how it looks you can see there's just the lace in the middle really and um, but this is kind of how you want it to look if you decide to take the cap off, keep in mind that cap is going to be used to make it super easy for you if you just want to put this uh, wig on and go. You do not have to do this part, but if you wanted to do this part and have that middle part, uh, actual, you know, the actual lace showing versus the cap, this would be how you would uh, take it off. The steps that I showed you and this is how it would look, okay? So uh, while I'm here, I'll go ahead and show you inside the cap as I'm explaining. It'll be these um, clips. So there's two clips on the side and one in the back as well as the adjustable straps. There's also lace in the back, but uh, you know, of course, make sure you cut that off. All right, so stay tuned. All right, lovelies, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget all
all of the details for this wig here will be in the description. So any information you need on the wig, you can either ask me in the comments and don't forget it, all of the information as well it will be in the description. Um, don't forget to comment, comment and let me know what should we name her? Do you, are y'all feeling candy apple? I think I said candy apple. Are y'all feeling that? If you're feeling it, put an apple in the comments right now. If you're not, tell me what I should name her. All right. Um, also, don't forget to like the video. If you like this review, go ahead and like the video for me. And subscribe so you can become a part of my lovely family and be family with all of us. And last thing, I promise you, last thing. Turn those post notifications on because guess what, sis? Guess what? I have more wig reviews coming up for you. And I have a total summer vibe wig that you do not want to miss. So go ahead and turn those post notifications on. All right, lovelies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Vibe with you again. Love ya.